Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you this international Man of the Match player review. And as you can see up on screen, we have ourselves the international Man of the Match, Zeko, who was requested by a subscriber. So if you guys have any international Man of the Match players that you would like me to review, be sure to leave them down below in the comments section and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Now, up on screen there, we do pick him up for 42,000 coins. I believe I sold him on for 5k profit after tax, so it was quite nice a bit of trading as well. And we played 10 games, scored 15 goals, and and got two assists and then over there you guys can see he does have three star skill moves with the four star weak foot and we'll talk a little bit about that as we get through the review and I'm going to compare him also to his inform card because I feel that's the way we sort of got to go around it now over there you can see Jacko's in game stats and he does have 79 curves so it doesn't really mean that he's the best player when it comes to finesse shots. Did find it a bit difficult to score them. And he does have 95 finishing. So with the 95 finishing, and I mixed that more or less in all the time with the 99 shot power. And with his power shots, just a nail-biting shot that just goes straight into the back of the net. Gives the keeper absolute no chance of saving them. And those were literally the best trait I thought he had given. But uh, with the finesse shots, yeah, they gave him a much more difficult time on goal. Now, he does have 87 strength, so he's going to be muscling around a couple other defenders. And he did stand up to the players like David Luiz and um, Pepe. Occasionally Dede as well, but uh, in Division 1, you don't really find him that much. But getting over there, you can see his attack positioning. It says it's around 82, and I probably wouldn't agree with that because he does push back quite a bit of the time. Now, in terms of his weaker foot, I really didn't enjoy his weaker foot. In comparison to his inform card that has a great weak foot, this one just didn't seem up the par. And uh, mainly anything close in, that's only when he did switch over to his weaker foot quite nicely. So uh, that's the only issue I had with him in terms of uh, weaker foot issues. But in terms of shot power... And and free kicks. Uh, this one's actually, to me, actually, it's kind of a contrast to his inform card. If you want a player that's going to have great power shots, uh, this is the card to go for. If you want one that's going to be like an all round attacker with great finesse shots, uh, I'd more or less suggest using his inform card because that's the difference between the two. Now, over there, you can see he's beating defenders quite effectively with those three star skill moves, and I was more or less just using the ball roll or the roulette just to uh, get free and get past a few defenders because he doesn't have four star skill moves. It did make it a little bit tricky at times, but. You know, that's the way you're going to work around it. And over here, you can see here, we're just going to go with the ball roll. Uh, just get away from the defender. Just give him a little bit of a shimmy and find his way in on goal. So, not too bad overall, guys. Definitely from... Aerial threat-wise, he is very good at heading the ball. And also over here, very good awareness, especially when he plays at centre-forward position. Not really good when he does play a striker because his work rates do go against him. And heading the ball, yet again, um, a very, very big plus side because he is a big man and he does play quite effectively. So over there, you can see the power shots, just drilling it from anywhere. And you'll see that it is quite an interesting shot. And then over here, the 95 finishing, put it to good use, chipping it over the keeper and making him watch it uh, go into the back of his own net. And over here, I think we're going to find Jeff. Look at this, a little bit of uh, tactical dribbling, getting in and out of players, and then the finesse shot just letting him down on the way in. So, over here, I think I just got another clip because they're actually the recording went a bit corrupt, so I had to get a few goals um, back from the replays. But over here, you can see yet again another power shot, and that's more or less how I'd rate him. He's a very powerful player, good strength, doesn't really get pushed to the ball too frequently, and uh, he's a good team player as well, especially starting from a centre forward position. I'd more or less suggest, guys, use him in a 4 3 3 fifth formation, which is a false nine, because that will be better. And you can see my opponent rage quitting, and I'll quickly show you. Uh, my opponents that I was coming up against. So you can see there were no easy teams. There's Neuer. Um, <laughs> we haven't even had a Dutch team over there. A little bit of a Dutch side. So really good opponents. So overall, guys, in terms of pros and cons or strengths and weaknesses, however you like to say it, um, pros would definitely have to be his strength and his balance. He never really got pushed off and fell to the floor at all. Shot power, definite strong trait off him. And his long shots, very great and fun stuff as well. Heading, very nice because you can't really miss with this guy. He's very tall. He's going to get onto everything. And all-round free kicks, drilling it from distance, drilling it from close range was his best stuff. Uh, tributes, but over onto the weaknesses, his work rates having that medium attacking work rate did play against him, and then. In terms of finesse shots, I was kind of let down by that because his inform card did have better finesse shots. So, yeah, a little bit of an iffy side on there. And also, his weaker foot, being four-star weak foot, expected much more. It just he wasn't able to convert the best of time. So, overall, I've given him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. So, I'm going to wrap it up there. If you guys would like to buy the inform card, I'd probably say he's a little bit better for weak foot and finesse shots. But uh, if you want to just an all-round power player, this is the one to go for. So yeah, this has been AVJV Gaming. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Drop it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next video.